Welcome to another video. If you haven't already, please subscribe if you like gaming, film, or television content as it really helps the channel. It's time for another retro review, but instead for a film, I'll be diving into an older game franchise, and that is Mass Effect, and more specifically, the first in the series. So let's get into it. So in my first ever retro review of Memories of Murder, which is up here somewhere if you are interested in checking it out, I specified that this kind of format for reviews is for films from 2003 and back. However, games age very differently, so I'll be classifying retro as anything from the PS3 slash Xbox 360 era backwards. That was a long time ago. Now, with all that being said, after playing Mass Effect 1, I can see how that can come under the banner of retro. I purchased the Mass Effect Legendary Edition because I've always wanted to try these games. I knew about their status as an all-time great gaming series, but my only exposure to the series so far was Mass Effect Andromeda, which was average at best. I am glad to say that I really enjoyed my time with this game. It is definitely not perfect, there are things that could have been improved and fine tuned, but it is unlike most games I have played and it feels like a tried and true RPG. I will say that the game doesn't get off to the strongest start. The game is very dialogue heavy and for a lot of new players like myself, they might not fully click with how the game begins because it spends a lot of time building the world and some characters can talk for a little bit too long. However, you notice pretty quickly that if you decide to be a good character, also known as a paragon, or a more evil character, also known as renegade, it opens up certain pathways for you, and I think that is a really interesting aspect to this game. I wanted to focus on being a paragon and it opened up certain dialogue options later in the game that are really important because it completely changes the outcome for certain scenarios. A lot of games always promise the aspect that every choice matters and there are so many different endings. Mass Effect is one of the few games that actually say that and mean it. Every dialogue option all builds up to something that could drastically change the fate of characters, side quests, and main story outcomes. So many different options. Now, the fate of characters actually means something here because Everyone that is in your crew actually means something to you, especially if you take the time and talk to each of them. Shepard, who is the main character, can be fully customized and is a well-written character who you kind of mold into the personality you want him or her to be. That's why I think this also gets off to a slow start because Shepard is a little bit of a blank canvas in the beginning and as you spend more time with the character and talk to more people, you can turn Shepard into the type of character you want them to be. As this is the first game in the series, it does feel at times that some of the crew, while they do matter, are a little one dimensional and sometimes aren't always interesting. However, something that Bioware were really great at were the diversity of romance options and friendships. This feels like some of the more complex elements to the dialogue options. This made some of the characters far more interesting. I romance Liara and adding the romance aspect makes conversations with that character a little more interesting. Now, I think some of the things that hold this back from something that is truly outstanding is that while it is ambitious, it can't reach the level that it wants to be as Mass Effect was not a proven series at the time. And I'm guessing it just didn't have as much money thrown at it like later entries in the series did. Due to this, the game suffers a lot in terms of its technical prowess. I'm sure at the time Mass Effect would have been on par with other PS3 or Xbox 360 games. However, today it has aged quite poorly on that end. This game looks old and clunky at times. There are some really weird choices here with side quests as well. I did not like that when you are navigating the galaxy, you can't select a quest that you want to do, 
and it doesn't point you where to go. This makes navigating very tedious as you have to keep leaving the navigation section to go to your menu and read the galaxy and system you need to go to. And they don't have the most memorable or simplest names either, which makes it all the more tedious. I also thought a lot of the worlds you visit that don't have anything to do with the main story are quite empty and only have one or two things to do. Overall, despite its technical limitations, the first Mass Effect is a great game that still stands as an RPG that has one of the deepest dialogue trees and RPG mechanics that I have ever seen. The world building and story are incredible, and despite its slow start, the game sank its teeth in me and I became hooked right until the end. I'm going to give Mass Effect an 8 out of 10 and I definitely recommend it if you can deal with some of the outdated graphics. Anyway, thank you for watching the video. Tell me what your thoughts are towards Mass Effect in the comments down below. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.